Oh Lord, take me away. I don't mind. Let's go back in time. That's right. We have the DeLorean set. I'm super excited about this set. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, Scott with 36 Bricks here, and today I want to showcase, that's right, the Back to the Future DeLorean set. It is an amazing set. Uh, I was lucky enough to be able to actually collect all of the parts that I needed for this set, um, and I used 100% of my own parts. I didn't have to order anything except for the two minifigures, Doc Brown and uh, Marty McFly, as well as the hoverboard. Now the hoverboard, just as a heads up, the hoverboard does not come with this set. It actually comes with uh, this purple skateboard right here that I have, or that I had as well. However, because of the iconic hoverboard, I wanted to make sure that I got that. So I ordered those two. Uh, or that um, hoverboard as well as the two minifigures. Before I get started in showcasing this epic build, let's take a step back and show how I collected all the pieces. And so let's go back in time and then we'll see you in the future. Back to the future! All right, guys, so today, that's right, we are actually going to put together the uh, DeLorean set for the Back to the Future, set number 2113, the DeLorean. The cream of the crop, it's been retired for years. I've been looking forward to building this set. I figured I'd have it, and I, I'm really excited. So, as a precursor, I've actually already ordered the uh, two minifigures as well as the hoverboard from the second movie. So I wanted to incorporate this, but this set is 401 pieces. I'm going to round off at 400 because I already took out uh, the minifigures as well as uh, the brick separator. So we won't need the brick se separator for sure. So I've already taken those pieces out. Uh, and I put together the list right here on BrickLink, and I'm going to show you what we have to do. So there's 119 different lots right now. Uh, so essentially what we do with these uh, pieces is we go down the list and, and look for all of the pieces that are on here so that we can put them together ourselves. Okay? As you can see, it looks like for the most part, the majority of them are pretty easy standard pieces. Um, I probably don't have this purple skateboard, but I will take a look. Uh, going further, uh, again, looking at all of the pieces, uh, I'm not for or I'm for sure not going to have the hollow studded uh, with disconnect uh, the. Uh, um, shield piece with the pattern on it um, of the flux capacitor. Uh, scrolling down a little bit more, again, a lot of neutral pieces, a lot of easy pieces to find. I should have the majority of these pieces in my inventory. Uh, let's see if there's any others. Uh, this piece right here, uh, the destination time and present time, uh, that I may have to order as well. Hopefully those aren't too much, but again, the rest of these pieces, oh, there's another one, this uh, orange strip right here, uh, I'm not going to have, um, let's see, going to the last and final.
final page, uh, going through these, uh, the at a time uh, plate, I'm definitely not going to have, but for the most part, I think the rest of the pieces I am for sure going to have. So I'm really excited uh, to get things going for this set. It will probably take me um, a little bit to put together all the pieces, but again, I, I think we're going to be good. I don't think we're going to have any issues uh, putting these pieces together uh, for this set. So I'm super excited. I, I, I'm looking forward to building this set completely, um, and I, I look forward to this adventure back in time. We're going to go ahead and uh, transition back over so that we can start looking for these pieces. Let's rock with that. All right, everybody. So I've actually I've gone through all of the pieces, and these are all the pieces that I need for the set, minus a couple. Okay. So I went ahead, and if you uh, saw on the screen a little earlier, there are three printed pieces, all are $25 each. So I'm not going to go ahead and print and get those. Uh, I mean, that would run, uh, that'd be $75 minimum, uh, not including shipping and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm going to forego the printed pieces, which include the uh, printed flux capacitor piece uh, and both the license plates. Uh, the one that says back in time or out of time and then the other is the orange uh, license plate. With the orange license plate, I am going to go ahead and um, either replace it with this piece or this piece here, depending on what looks good for the build. Uh, and then the back in time, Unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and replace uh, with this piece right here. Uh, there was another piece that I looked up. It was the, uh, the timestamp piece, uh, which I am going to go ahead and replace with this piece here. Again, that was another $25 piece. And uh, just buying those four pieces would be $100. Um, I've already uh, gone through and picked out all of the pieces. The only pieces that I'm actually purchasing are the minifigures, um, and uh, I decided to go ahead and pick up the hoverboard. Uh, I thought that was a good piece. Um, purchased those off Bricklink, uh, oddly enough, with a store that I've actually walked into in Denver. Uh, great location. I went there a couple years ago on a, on a fluke. I didn't even know or realize it was the place. So. Uh, so that's basically what we have. Um, the last two pieces that you saw on the screen were uh, two by two slope uh, in trans clear. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I actually have those on their way as well. Um, special shout out to Sarge. Uh, Operation Padwall uh, is in effect again. He was stopping by two of uh, the local stores that I don't get a chance to get to that often he lives up my way so uh, anytime he goes down to the pad wall or to the uh, stores he asks if I need anything uh, and he he's an amazing guy uh, he picks stuff up for me so um, so yeah he, he so uh, those uh, pieces are actually on the pad wall um, and uh, I asked him just for a handful I didn't get a full cup or anything like that um, just because it's not needed I don't need a handful, or uh, sorry, I don't need a, a cup full, I just need a handful. So, um, as you saw from the screen, I only actually need two of them, um, but it's always good to have a few more just in case I need uh, them for another uh, build. So, that's what we have uh, for the pieces. Uh, and then once uh, I get everything kind of situated, I'm going to go ahead and build it. Uh, so I am excited for that. So, and we're back. Great, Scott. All right, guys. So we are back. This is a great build. I just want to showcase my full review now. All right. So here is the build. Uh, 
I'm going to open these up. This is a very cool car. It opens up on both sides. I will be honest in that the uh, both minifigures don't quite fit uh, the best, but that is okay. Um, it, this is a very cool build. So the doors open up just like the build in the, in the movies uh, where it raises up. Now, a couple things I want to showcase. Um, that I changed, like I said, I went ahead and changed the license plates. Didn't feel that those were all that necessary for the build. Now, there are a couple modifications in the set instructions to where you can modify it. Uh, this being one of them. This actually does not belong on the car in its original form, but at the end of the movie, as you guys uh, have seen, if you have seen the movie, uh, they input that or they've added that modification and that is to the gas tank. The other cool aspect is, and I'm gonna go ahead and put these down, is the fact that it is actually a flying DeLorean. So they have, uh, in the instructions, they showcase you can put this down or the the wheels down. Uh, they get they in the uh, parts uh, they add these pieces so that you can add that to the bottom, and it can be a flying DeLorean, which is very cool. It gives it the impression that it's flying instead of um, running around on the wheels. That is actually a cool feature. So I love that about that, that they add that. The other cool part is they actually have a, a section in the instructions uh, to where you can actually modify the front end of this vehicle to showcase the engine a little bit more. Uh, so I love the fact that they give you that alternate build in this set or alternate modifications, which is really cool. Uh, I do really love how I I do really love how this build looks. I, I'm really excited to have it. It is definitely up there with uh, sets like the Flintstones, um, the Mystery Machine for Scooby Doo, all of that kind of fun stuff. Uh, I'm really excited to have this. All in all, uh, I w the only thing that I would change is I, I might change up the interior a little bit just so that we can make sure both minifigures fit inside there very comfortably without uh, any issues. Maybe extending this piece a little bit or something just so that there's that added room. Uh, I think that would be nice. Uh, but all in all, amazing build. I really love how it turned out. Uh, I highly suggest building this set. There's not a lot of pieces to it. There's not a lot of aspects uh, that you really have to worry about. Um, but all in all, it is a great build. So, hope you guys like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time on 36 Bricks. Hey everybody, I just wanted to give a quick shout out and thank you to all my Patreon supporters. It means a lot that you've taken the time uh, to support what I do and appreciate all the effort that I put into both the videos and the streams. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. For those of you that are not members, please check out patreon.com backslash 36 bricks. That's patreon.com backslash 36 B-R-I-X. And check out the packages that you could take advantage of to get more content. Have a great day. Ooh, this one's cool. Check this one out. I agree, that one's cool, but this one's awesome. Ooh, I like this one. I just can't stop watching. Well, I like them all, and I'm going to subscribe. Can you do the same? Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on 36 Bricks.